Hey, the Red Rocker Sammy Hagar here telling you that after all these years, there's still only one way to rock. Wisp Turlington. Oh, it's Mick Jagger, and you're listening to Wisp Turlington. Hi, I'm Chris. And this is Doug, and we're in Hoobastank. This is Brian May from Queen, and you're listening to Wisp Turlington. Hey, it's Zane from Fister, and the only guy I'm listening to in the morning since I came back to life is Wisp Turlington. This is Dan. And this is Doug. And we're from the band Hoobastank. Hi, everybody. This is Huey Lewis. Oh, yeah. I'm Neil Young, and you're listening to Wisp Turlington. Yo, what's up, y'all? That's what I am. This Apple the App. Fergie. Taboo. And, and we're the Black Eyed Peas. Oh, it's Paul McCartney. And you're listening to my man Wisp. Hi, this is Neil Sean from Journey and Steve Perry of Journey. Wisp Turlington. Hi, we're the Human League. I'm Susan. And I'm Philip. And I'm Joanne. Yo, yo, what's up? This is R. Kelly. Hello, this is Flea from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Hi, this is Rick Whiteman of Yes. I'm Danny. And I'm the Denim Boy. And we're from... Mama's, Mama's Revenge. Revenge. And you're listening to Wisp Turlington. Yep. Hi, this is Roger Daltrey. Hi, this is Getty Lee, and you're listening to Wisp Turlington. Hey, I'm John Bon Jovi. It's Richie Sambor. Oh, wow. This is Owen Wilson, and you're listening to the Wisp Turlington Show. Wow. Hi, this is Klaus Meiner. Rudolf Schenker. And Matthias Jobs. From, from the Scorpions. Uh, yes, this is uh, Tony Banks. From uh, my solo classical and uh, I suppose Genesis, and uh, you're listening to the Wisp Turlington Show. Large up road, boy, Mr. Loma. Shove it, ah! Hi, this is Billy Corgan the Smashing Pumpkins. Hi, Steve Miller here. Hi, Rockers, this is Billy Idol. Oh, hey, man, this is Jersey's own David Bryan, keyboardist from Bon Jovi, and you're listening to the Wisp Turlington Show. I'm Jimmy. I'm Zenith. I'm Precious. I'm Trombone Larry. You can call me my... Yeah, this is Cereal Box. And we're from Chicago, the band. Hi, right, this is Keith Richards. Yo, what's up? This is Robin Thicke. This is Cocaine Steve from Cocaine Steve and the Queef, and you're listening to Wisp Turlington. Hi, this is Billy Joel. The Wisp Turlington Show. Back in better than ever. So I was hanging out with my friend last night. Nick Nolte, Peter Cetera, other guys from Journey, Jason Newstead from Metallica, Dustin Hoffman, come on. You All know right, I'm going to go ahead and, and pot this down. I'm going to go ahead and pot this down. Because it's just going to say, here's all the people that do a show with me and they're not. So uh, let's do something different this morning. Here we go. Well, in a little while from now, if I'm not feeling any less sour, I promise myself to treat myself and visit a nearby tower and climb into the top. Will throw myself off in an effort to make it clear who ever it's like when you're shattered, left standing in a lurch. At a church, that's weird. A church saying that God's tough. She stood him up. No point in us remaining We might as well go home As I did on my own Alone again Wisp Turlington Yeah, that's right, everybody, we're alone again On the Wisp Turlington show Um, Literally The only person in the studio or building Seems that everyone's over at the uh, new Poseidon radio building it's 103. They're on the air right now. I would uh, go over to their feed. Chomp on this cyanide capsule in my mouth. If I could. Yeah, but I just don't have the spirit for either one of them. So, uh, yeah, good morning, Val Verde. Uh, 108.9 The Honk Morning Show. Uh, with Wisp Turlington. It's all the Wisp Turlington show. At this point in the show, I'd usually be turning my head and yelling at Scotty, but you would just hear an echo. So I'd go, Scotty, 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 Scotty. And then it's like, it's like sometimes when you see a uh, Pink Floyd tribute band and they do uh, Comfortably Numb and then they do that. Okay, okay, okay. And they do the echo themselves with their mouth. And I'm like, you fucking stupid son of a bitch. Just say okay. 
Relax, relax, relax. Oh, God. I got to call my best friend, Roger Waters. And then I got to call my best friend, David Gilmore. And then I got to merge the calls because that is always so fun to do. When you do that and Roger's just like, oh my God, it's so good to hear you wisp. I've been wanting to talk to you. I'm in the best mood ever. And then I'm like, hey, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, the uh, uh, chicken place is calling me. I, can I put you on hold for one second? And he's like, yeah, no problem. And so then I dial David Gilmore. And David Gilmore is like, oh my God, it's wonderful to talk to you. I am literally having the best day of my life. And I'm like, that's great, that's great. Hey, hold on a second, the chicken place is on the other line. And then I merge the calls. And then I say, fellas, you fucking figure it out. And then I just listen. Three hours was the last call. I did it last night. I thought about doing it again today, and I probably will. I might even do it on air, because frankly, I have nothing for the show today. 602 on 108.9 The Hawk. Uh, what's in the news? What's in the news? Let's see. Usually I have some stuff written down for me. I do not have anything written down for me. Um, let's see here. I could read this article, How Naughty Holder's Wife Lives with Slade's Merry Christmas, Everybody. I don't want to, I don't want to read that. No, he's a dick. Uh, let's see. Uh, Neil Young is saying he may retire. Um, maybe I could get him to co-host here. Maybe that would be great. Have Neil across from me. And he's like, oh, yeah, you just heard Godzilla from Blue Oyster Cult. And I'm like, that is a very good back announce. My new best friend in the world, Neil Young. He's probably got other things to do. Um, yeah. Uh, hope everyone's having a great morning. Valverde, I hope you're having a wonderful time. Of course, the uh, Plum Festival canceled uh, for this weekend, so uh, you're not going to that. Um, what else is happening? What else is happening here? Oh, oh, this is very fun. Now, I don't know how I'm going to even get this to work, but I'm going to try. You know, all morning long, we were supposed to have just a whole crew for this. We're going to have Jeff in here. We're going to have Greg. And uh, Scotty knows more about this promotion than I do. But I'll read the card and I'll just assume that it's still the current. (sighs) All morning long, we're giving away cruises courtesy of Livingston Cruise Line. It's the cruise to the edge of the world. Now, you may not know this, but after the 800,000 tons of nothing but guns cruise, Livingston Cruise Line had to declare bankruptcy. And now they have brand new owners. David and Shelly Dave. Dave Dave. Is that really? I just turned to ask Scotty if that's his real name. Yeah, and they're uh, hardcore flat earthers, apparently. So on this cruise, you're going to be traveling with the Daves as they hope to find the edge of the world. Could be a seven-day cruise. Could be 14. But you know what? I'm, I'm sure you'll be entertained because you've got Kevin Sorbo. Dean Kane, Gina Carano, and Ice Cube all are going to be there along for the ride. Uh, So call her uh, 108 right now. And also, you know what? Call her 108. We will do that, but also open phones. Open phones. What is today? Scotty? Wednesday? Open phones Wednesday? You know what? We'll find out. We will find out. Line two. You are on with the Whistman. Fire it off. Hey, yeah, flat earth, huh? That's, that sounds about right to me. Oh, okay. Well, you're not caller one away, but uh, you know what? I have nothing else going on. Uh, why don't you, uh, you know, try, try to convince me to come over to your side? Uh, at one point in the world. Oh, by the way, my name is is Sean Tank. Wait, 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 I would expect you to get my name wrong, No, no, I apologize. Oh, okay, now, you know, usually, see, here's here's what happens, Sharn. Sharn. S-H-A-R-N? Of course, how else would you spell Sharn? I wouldn't spell it. Well, then, you've never met the Tang. Are you the Tang or the Tank? The Tang. So you're Sharn. You got wax in your ears, young man? I could. Scotty usually cleans, cleans my ears every morning. Oh, you, I, need, to I could a, be you chalk. need to get an ear candle. That's the those only do not way work. that... Those do not work. Those gonna, are the only things that do work. You're going to set your house on fire. You're going to set your house on fire. 
I, I certainly know. set a couple houses on fire, but I can also hear when someone tells me their goddamn name is oh. Sharn Tang. Okay, Sharn Tang. Uh, welcome to the Wisp Turlington Show. So glad you're calling in. Um, uh, Fire it off there. Flat Earth, why? You ever heard about science? Yeah, oh yeah, I know science. You ever heard about that many, many moons ago they decided that the Earth was flat? Well, how many moons are we talking? Because there's a lot of moons. There are a lot of moons every day. We're talking one moon 1,000 times, if you know what I mean. I don't. That's some, that's a secret code right there for the Wait, flat is that, earthers. Oh, that is one earth. One, one moon, h- one thousand times. You say that, and the people know. But what hey, does it mean? If you don't understand, then I can't be the one to tell you. You, you know need what we're to getting? learn it for yourself. Sharn much click. Like- I like to say click right before I hang up because that way they fucking know it's coming. They know that I'm about to hang up on their asses. Oh, God. Okay. 108.9 The Hawk Traffic with Art Spart. Well, that's my best art. I'm going to do my art because I've got nothing else going for me. I'm sure they're having a great time over at uh, Hits 103 right now. I'm sure they're having a fucking blast. Uh, Here we go. You know what? Uh, uh, I've turned. I literally turned, and I was going to say, Scotty, fire it again. But I I will do it myself because I have to learn to do for myself. 108.9 The Hawk Traffic with Art Spart. Well, we got a real humdinger right now out on 422. Uh, Looks like a spaceship landed. And uh, yo, yep, there are aliens coming out and they are just firing on anything. Now you thought, you thought that these were going to be peaceful aliens as soon as they land, but they were not. Nope, Art Spart called it. Long time ago, everybody should have been listening to art. Nope, they're just opening fire left and right. Women and children first. That's what they're shooting because somehow the U- the United States space program. They the only thing they shot into space was a copy of Van Halen's "Women and Children First. So these aliens, they saw that and they're like, "Well, I guess that's what we have to kill first. And that's what they're doing down on 422 right now. Uh, other than that, we're looking pretty good. Uh, Hog Street, uh, surprisingly clear. Uh, Deep Purple Boulevard, you're not going to be on that anytime soon because of the plum accident. And yeah, that's heart inspired with uh, traffic. Uh, no, no. It's time for weather on 108.9 The Hawk. It's hot. Just going to say that. It's fucking cold as can be. It's even colder in the studio right now. Just empty and cold because there's usually bodies in here to give me a little heat. Not today. Line five, you're on with Wisp. Hi, Wisp. How you doing there? Hi, who do we have here? Who's we got? Ooh, we got Chucky from the frame store. How you oh. doing? Hey, just want to check in. You got any uh, no, fun things no, you need framed? No, Maybe uh, pictures of your friends? No, uh, I, I know, I wish I I know I did. that you got a lot of friends. Maybe you could do something of Jeff the Angerman Garlock. Come on down to the frame store. You ever think about that? Chucky, mm-hmm. I'm a big wound right now, and you know what you are? You're a big, eh, old, I'd love can- to hear. You're a big old canister of Morton Salt. You know the one that has a little girl on the front that says, Time to salt, motherfuckers? That's what her, <laughs> that's what her umbrella says. I, I do know about that salt. That's the well, only salt that I you're pouring it in use. on me, Chucky. You're pouring it all over. Because I have no friends. Outside, oh. of the, outside of my good best friends that are not in the studio right now, like Nick Nolte, uh, Peter Cetera, Rod Stewart, Ronnie Wood, Lorne Michaels. Do you think any of them would have some framing they don't. work for I'm me? I'm sure they do, but not today. Well, listen up, Wisp. Uh-huh. If you don't get me some framing work soon, uh-huh. then I'm going to come and I'm going to truly wound you no oh god and put the salt in there chucky here's because the thing chucky needs to frame you chucky you got me on a real real vulnerable day because normally chucky if you came to me with that attitude your store would be droned so quickly just a flaming little pile of frames <laughs> really? and i would have you i would have drone 83 i'm not activating drone 83 standing down good I would have Drone 83 just swoop in, pick you up, take you to the outer edges of uh, the Earth because it's not flat. Basically, we'd go straight up with a Chucky. We'd take you as high as we could to where you would float and not come back down. Affirmative. No. Oh, shit. 
Oh no! Well, Jackie, oh, no. I hate to say it. Oh, uh, we all float up here. Ah! Click. He didn't even hear click. He did not even get the click. I got to take the uh, voice commands off these drones. I guess Scotty just puts it on voice command when I'm when he's not here. So I should really watch what I say. That's a weird sound. Huh? It sounds like that. Uh, here's what it sounds like. I'm going to play. I'm going to tell you exactly what this sounds like to me. Bow down, down, down. Bow down, 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 man, man. Bow down, down. It has that, it's that breakdown. Do you think Walsh did that with his mouth? It's all. Bow down, 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 down. I got to ask him the next time I see him, which is tomorrow. He's coming over to my house and we're going to drink so much cognac. Oh my God. It's like I will be wearing pants of cognac. Because you don't come for a weekend party at Wisps without your pants of cognac. And what that is, they've made these pants that you can fill with any liquor, any liquor you want. And the fun thing is you put the straw in your mouth and you just sit down and then right up in your mouth. You stand up, nothing. There's nothing coming. That's the force. That's the force of gravity. It's a real thing. And then you sit back down right in your mouth. God, what a good time. Cannot wait to see. I'm going to have both Joe Walsh's. I'm going to have the musician and the former Republican uh, congressman who is just, you know, really went way far left, way far left. Very odd. Not really my politics. I like to be right down the middle. I'm right there, right in the middle. And uh, line 48, you're on with the Wisp Man. Hey, uh, uh, hey, hey Wisp, uh, a big fan. Yeah. Big fan. Uh, uh-huh. Just, uh, uh, yeah, uh, I listen uh, every morning. Um, cool. Yeah. Hey, what, just, uh, you, I just uh, want to call in to say hey. Oh, you know what? You're the best type of caller. I love it when then just random dudes call in just the most boring sons of bitches ever. Just call into a call-in show, and they're just like, hey, just wanted to say something. So everyone heard me say something, and I could say something about it on, you know, social media. And it's like, this is great. Who do I have here? Who is this? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. My name's Frank. Okay, Frank. What's your last name? Frank Frankel. That's a stupid name. Uh, yeah, big fan. Uh, a Wisp. The dumbest name I've ever heard. Frank Frankel. That's I appreciate as bad it. As, oh, man, uh, you're Dave, so funny. Dave, Dave. Dave. You, uh, so... Were you calling in for the Livingston Cruise Line giveaway? Because you no, might have I, fun. You I, might I have fun I on a cruise. Win that. I know I wouldn't win Wait, that. Wait, you, you wouldn't win that. You're calling 48. No, no. I just want to say hey. And, no, Frank. Uh, Frank, it's I wanted good to, to call have you. in. Did you? Yeah. I was watching. Uh, did you see that uh, YouTube video? Where, uh, like, Kelsey Grammer, uh, he was, mm-hmm. like, talking, and then yeah. and, and when he, he's on the stage, and he, like, takes a step. And he goes, and oh, he, Lord. And, yeah. Yeah, that's that's classic. That's also from, like, 15 years ago? I, I, I think that was the it, first I time you, I saw like it 15 it. years ago. In fact, I was there when he did it. I was uh, the first person to step up and clap, because I thought it was truly uh, what, some of the best acting I had ever seen from Kelsey Grammer. We went out for steaks after that, and I said, that was really good. You should put that in a Frasier. And he said, I am hurting, Wisp. And I'm like, I, you, you, if you, this is acting. This is what acting is. Wow. That is so cool. And then, do you uh, think I could, do you think I could, because you told me that story, put like a post on my like Instagram that said that I had steaks? With Wisp Turlington and sure. Kelsey Grammer, because you told sure. me that what the story. Fuck? Frank Frankel, you do whatever you want, man. I am basically, I am a, uh, I'm dying. Oh, don't. Frank Frankel, don't die. I am dying right here on the air because. No, I, no, you're talking to me. Maybe I could be your new, uh, like, a, a co host. I think those guys are jerks or, or selling. I could be funny like you. that. I could do Thank all that kind of that. stuff there. Thank you for saying that. Uh, if you, okay, um, let's, uh, let's, let, let's play a little test here. Let's give you one test. I do have to pay some bills, um, but who cares? Honestly, I'm already paying all the bills here. Fucking. Yeah. Well, I'm third, sorry about all that. 76 we- million in? 76 million in, Ron. If you're listening, do you have like a Zelle I could send you some money? Because you're just like fun to me. No, like I don't awesome. need it. I, I have so much money, man. It's okay. But here's the test. I need you to give me a good rock fact. 
It's time for Good Rock Facts with Jeff Zingerman. Traitor, traitor. Okay, now it's your name. Uh, I, uh, 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 Huba, Huba Stank. Uh-huh. Um, they're more like Huba Stunk. <laughs> oh, oh, give it to me. Give me more. Give me, give me, give me more. Uh, uh, Seven Mary Three. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, now they're more like Seven Mary P. <laughs> it's like they're... Yeah, I get it. I get it. I, oh, that's, See, I, t- uh, I told you I could be just as good. Uh, yeah, no, that I, was... They, you should have me good. on, like, every week, like, calling in and you just You know what, Frank? To I, I'm going to think about that. I wrote it down here. I'm going to have... Uh, let's see here. Frank Frankel. I'm going to send something over to you for you to sign uh, to be a regular co-host here oh my uh, god writing it down drone 62 if you could bring this over to frank frankel and uh have him sign it uh drone 62 are you listening armed and ready no i'm gonna need you to take well there he goes oh wow thank you i just wanted to call and just uh, say hey i knew you'd well, appreciate it, it ah! would have been good click really got to take those uh, voice commands off <sighs> Tearful, bright, and gay. Looking forward to who wouldn't do the role I was about to play. But it did not me down. Reality came around. And without so much as a mere touch, cut me in the little pieces. Leaving me to doubt. Talk about God and his mercy. If he really does exist, then why did they all desert me? Answer that, you fucks. Yeah, well, keep calling. We'll give away this cruise. Um, right now, there's only one thing I want to do. That's fucking listen to the music. Mm, it's like I can smell it. it. Smells like oak. Sweat. Old beer. Aerosmith. Aerosmith. Like you've never seen them before. Before. Valverde. Valverde. Are you ready? Ready. Aerosmith, the immersive experience. Sure, you've seen King Tut, the immersive experience. Sure, you've immersed yourself in Vincent Van Gogh. Now walk into a room where Aerosmith's Janie's Got a Gun video is playing bigger than you've ever seen it on four walls. What did her daddy do? Well, you're finally gonna be able to figure it out when you see Janie's Got a Gun this big. Here's what people are saying about Aerosmith, the immersive experience. Yeah, I thought it was okay. I kind of thought it would be more than the Janie's Got a Gun video just on four walls with like, I guess four projectors. That's what they're using. Uh, yeah, I thought it would be more, but yeah, uh, I, I love Aerosmith. Yeah, I asked my mom to take me to Vincent Van Gogh immersive experience and she couldn't cause she couldn't get off work. And that's okay cause I don't hold it against her. And uh, so the next immersive experience that came to town was the um, Aerosmith immersive experience. And I went in and I sat down and uh, yeah, it was just a, it was just a music video, just really big, kind of cool. People are going wild for Aerosmith, the immersive experience. Well, I, you know, being a big Aerosmith fan for so many years, I, I'm finally figured out the secrets of Janie's Got a Gun because when you're watching that on your TV, man, it is just too small. When you see it big, you're like, uh oh. Criminal minds at work here. Aerosmith, the immersive experience. Open now at the Valverde Museum of Art. Happy Hawker Days. Hi, I'm Robin Leach with those champagne wishes and caviar dreams. Wishing you and yours a very rewarding Christmas and a fabulously famous New Year. Hi, this is Bill Cosby. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. This is the Money Man, that's right, Eddie Money, wishing everybody a very happy holiday. That's a Merry Christmas, a Happy Hanukkah, and everybody have a safe and wonderful new year. Hi, this is Mike Love of the Beach Boys wishing you happy holidays. From 108.9, The Hawk. Give me fuel, give me ties, give me chips that I desire. Hoo! 
Those aren't just lyrics to a song, that's a way of life. Hi, this is James Hetfield from Metallica. And if you're like me, you really do desire fuel, tires, and lots and lots of chips. Fuel was never a metaphor, it was literal. And that's why I've opened my own gas station, right in Val Verde. James Hetfield's Metalla Fuel. Yeah! Look, when you're on the road as long as I am, you need a break from all that headbanging. And you also need a break from Lars. That's why I get my hands dirty at Metalla Fuel. Is James Hetfield gonna give you a lube job on your car? Yeah! James Hetfield gonna rotate your tires? Oh, yeah! And is there going to be Lars hanging around talking about art while I'm doing it? No! Ho! So come on down to Metallica Gas on the corner of Dave Mustaine Way. You'll recognize it. Everything looks like a Big Daddy Roth cartoon. Give me fuel, give me ties, give me socks, and I Metalla Fuel. Our lifestyle determines your fuel style. Not on our normal playlist. There is, I've always told Boss Ron, there is not enough sweet on the 108.9 The Hawk playlist. And now that I'm truly the only DJ here, I get to play what I want. It's what's Charlington Show, 108.9 The Hawk. Um, oh, Jesus, I just thought about that. Am I going to have to be here all day? Because there's no, there's no, you know, usually the computer runs middays. And Jeff Tilt's been doing a bit of Tilt's gone. I can't call Big Truck. I can't call Jeff the Angry Man Garlock. I wouldn't call Greg. Do you know who hasn't even come up in all of this? I don't even know where he is. Is he on a remote right now? Uh, which button is remote? Uh, Jason, are you somewhere? Yeah, Wisp. I've uh, been out here at the Hawk Trees. I was... I've been here since yesterday's show. You were supposed to come to me when, oh, oh my God. Well, uh, thank you. How, I'm, I, how are the hawk cheese? Ah! Okay. I don't know if you heard that, but there was a hawk. Very loud, very angry. <sighs> ah! to, there's another one. I had to sleep in the mall, wisp. The hawks are just free. They just fly everywhere. They don't give a shit. I had to sleep next to the Orange Julius because they said you're contractually obligated to be here to do this fucking remote until your remote is over and you never came to me. So technically the remote never even started. Okay, Jesus. Calm down, man. I You're here now. That's all that matters. Oh, is that all that matters? You're only coming to me because you need me you're alone. Everyone else went to Hits 103. I should have gone to Hits 103. Wait, were you at? Were you asked to go to Hits 103? No. Nobody knew where to find me. <sighs> ah! I guess. Ah! Oh, it bit the shit out of me. Jason. Oh, ah! It just said Jason. Okay, well we'll, we'll check back in with you and see how that goes. Ah, uh, God. Good man, Jason Gore. Good. Man, salt of the earth. I knew he'd, I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew he would always stick with Wiz Turlington. I like these other turncoats going over there to the station. What are they going to say? That's Terry Fashions with blah, 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 blueberries. That's one of his songs, right? I listened to a little Terry Fashions. There was something about blueberries. Now, here's, here's the thing about Terry Fashions. I've never seen a man that wanted to be fucking Peter Gabriel. So bad, we'd give anything for it. And guess what, Terry Fashions? You're never going to be Peter Gabriel. There's only one person that's Peter Gabriel. Guess what name I'm going to say? There's no one here to guess. <sighs> I was going to say Peter Gabriel. This is going to be a new chapter in my book about being left and betrayed by friends. Um, <sighs> Caller 64, you're on the air. Hello, Hits 103, it's Terry Fashions calling in to say hello to the really great morning show. How are we doing today? Who hello? Is this? Who, who's, who's pretending to be Terry Fashions? 
Is this is this Jeff? Funny? No, no very, one's pretending. Very, very funny. Oh, the, oh, I understand. You think this is one of those wonderful I'm pranks pranked. that they do? I knew that they were going to do. Here's the thing: I knew that Hits 103 was going to pull some prank shit because I taught those fantastic women. How to do the best pranks ever. And I didn't think they were going to turn it around on Wiss Turlington. Oh, I'm sorry. Fast, am but... I not? Did I call the wrong number for uh, It's 103? Hello. I'm Terry Fashions. Blah, blah, blah. Blueberries. My song. My Wait a new second. Hit I recognize song. this. Is this? Am I talking to Wiss Turlington? Yes, of course. You're talking to Wiss Turlington. Jeff? Oh, this Ter- isn't Jeff the Angry Man Garlock. Terry, this is Terry fucking fashions. fashions. No, Terry fucking fashions is way I am a too big. popular. I know how big he is, Jeff. No, no, no. I'm he's a big He's way too big to call fan. the Wisp Turlington show now. He's way I too big. I am a big. huge Wisp Turlington okay, fan. Okay, prove it. Your best friend is Nick Nolte. Everybody knows that. Your number one drink is Cognac. Everybody knows that. I just talked about the pants. You've destroyed flappers at least four times. Tell me something I do not know. A little something called peekaboo? Yeah, somebody's read the book. Well, how about this? Peter Gabriel, Tony Levin, Terry Fashions. New song, exclusively. No. Coming to you, Wisp Turlington. No. I grew up on you. My father would play you every single Sunday, Monday, What's and this Wednesday. Song called? What's the song called? Capuchin Monkeys. Oh my God, that's parentheses. Milgram Number Five. It's going to be an interesting song. And finally, Terry Fashions is doing the music that he always wanted to. None of that blueberry shit anymore. Scotty, put him on mute. Mute, 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 mute. Uh, Right there, mute. Oh fuck, Wasp. I think this is the real Terry Fashions. What's crazy is when I say Terry Fashions. I clearly met that other asshole. But apparently there is a real musician called Terry Fashions who is just as popular as the other asshole. Because I heard his song. I heard blah, 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 blueberries. He's doing a song with fucking Gabriel. I didn't think it was Gabriel until I heard the Capuchin Monkey singing. That is. And the last time I was hanging with Peter, we were uh, out buying uh, finger sticks, new finger sticks for Tony. He wanted longer ones. And Peter was like, well, we're going to have to go shopping for those. So we head on on down to the... Uh, Valverde Guitar Place, that's our guitar store. Used to be a huge change. There used to be guitar places all throughout the United States, but it, there's just one now. And uh, they're pretty shook. They're pretty shook by it. You go in there, they're clearly like, we used to have an empire. And you know what? I, I think I can kind of relate to that right about now. So we go in there, and uh, Peter says, "No, oh, pick out any uh, uh, finger stick you want, Tony. And then Tony's like, it's been that long enough. That's exactly what Tony Levin sounds like. So we have, we're, we're digging through finger sticks. <laughs> oh my God. Just a big old bucket of finger sticks. Finally finds, what, finds the one that is long enough for him. And uh, he uh, picked them out. And then uh, whew, Tony put them on. It was beautiful. Long and majestic. He could touch my car from inside guitar place. He literally just went in over the window. And he started honking my horn. Normally, that would piss Wisp Turlington off, but I found it to be an absolute fucking delight. Okay, unmute. Oh, there, uh, Terry, Terry Fashion here on the 108.9, the Hollywood, no, if I get what is it called? I'm sorry, Wisp, I can't do this anymore. Wait. This is actually Robbie Agatakali's doll, and this was... This was a prank call. I'm sorry, my cousins. Robbie? Robbie, did your fucking cousins put you up to this? Callie and Crystal thought it'd be super fire is what uh, they said. I don't know what that even means. How do they even know about the cap- capuchin monkeys? I didn't understand a word that they said. I think they just might have seen something on TikTok about monkeys, and it just worked out that way that it tricked uh, you. I feel so bad. You're my mentor and everything and all, but uh, I'm sorry. Those, my cousins have a real hold over me. And are I, you Are you at the new studios? I'm at the new studio, yeah. What, what, what do they look like? The studio is beautiful. It's everything is like. Is it as small as our studio is? Like our, you know how our chairs are like right up against each other. It's really big. It almost looks like the movie Minority Report. Everything what, is wait, really wait, wait. smooth so like, and. There are like no screens. They're just in the sky. 
they keep changing songs by moving their hands. Oh, no, they're doing the hand thing. And every time a new song comes up, they know yeah. what it should be because a little wooden ball comes rolling out. And then it just tells them, oh. And it says Terry Fashions. On Olivia it. Rodrigo. That's Wait, a so new song. I'm I don't a little even confused know what that now. is. I keep waiting for a decapitated baby to be played, but it's so never happening. Me, yeah, that's never happening. They're not going to play decapitated baby. I think they kept telling We're not me they gonna play. Um, You know what? We are going to play Decapitated Baby. You can play it whenever you want. Middays on 108.9 The Hawk. You're now the new midday guy. I wish I could take you up on that, but I can't cross my dad. He'd be really angry at me. So I got to stick with my cousins. I'm sorry, Wisp. No. I didn't mean to do this You to blew you. it. You blew it. You really, truly blew it there, Robbie, because I just <laughs> gave you the world on a platter. You could have played cor- Cannibal Corpses, I Come Blood. Three times in a row if you wanted to. You're not going to be able to now click. Now I'm confused. I don't even know if Terry Fashions is a real person. I thought they were one person. And then when I was talking to him and he said he was Terry Fashions, I immediately thought he was a separate person from the person they were talking about. I don't even know what's going on anymore. Uh, Let's go to news. All the news you can use or the news you can lose. It's news time on 108.9 The Hawk. Don't have anything. Um. Oh, good. The ratings are in. That's fast. Scotty, that. That's fast. Uh Let's see here. Bullshit. 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 Okay. Morning shows. Here we go. All right. Really great morning show is uh, number one. They've been on for what? 20 minutes? And where am I on here? I gotta be on this list. They would not, not, not put my show on here. Not, not. Not, not. Who's there? Usually Jeff would be losing his shit. And Greg would be laughing just to get in my good graces, but he wouldn't think it's funny. Do I miss Greg? That's weird. I've never felt that before. Uh, 108.9, The Hawk. Um, yeah, a lot of stuff happening. Uh, it's 103 is the uh, new new top morning show in, uh, in Val Verde. I was about to say Wisp Valley, but yeah, there was a time when everybody loved old Wisp. And everyone, they, you know, just tongue in cheek would call it. That's Wisp Valley. I said we should call it Wisp Country. But uh, they said no, Wisp Valley. And that's what it is. Caller 82, you're on with Wisp Turlington on 108.9 The Hawk on the Wisp Turlington Show. You know, I should, I should cheer it up. Let's get some of that music going here. There we go. All right. Who do I got? Hey there, Wisp. How are you doing? This is your old friend, Roger Waters. So uh-huh. glad to hear you. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Roger, you called me. I wanted to change it up a little. Oh, hey, my God. Uh, hey, how's your day going? Oh, my day's going wonderful now that I'm uh, with you. I'm over here. I'm yeah. remixing the art of hitchhiking. I'm going to do that what? as a release. Yes, yes. Oh, man. When are you going to do Radio Chaos? Love it. Because it was like a radio station, and that's something I was like, finally something fucking that works in my brain. 2023 is going to be a big year. Big year for Roger Waters. There's a lot of things, and people want those solo records, and they want That's all they're dying for is those Roger Waters solo albums. Everyone's like, please put it in my hand. I've done an, I've done enough with the wall, the record that only I wrote. And, you you, know, I, you were the only one that did any shit. The on only that. one that did it. I don't I don't want to be the one to say it, but I said it. Oh, uh, you, you said it. You said it. Okay, hold on one second. Oh, of course. This one is your second. Radio I'm gonna put show. you. I'm gonna put you on hold. This isn't radio chaos. I'll be no. on hold. <laughs> okay, well, you're on hold. And then uh, let's see here. Doot 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 doot. doot, doot. I like to sing out every number as I'm as I'm calling internationally. I sing it out so it's like And then it does that dumb. You're not going to hear it cuz the phone system doesn't do it but it does that Oh, hello. 
That's, is that my boy? Is that my boy, David Gilmore? Oh, hey, Wisp, it's, it's wonderful to be speaking with you. It's me, uh, guitarist extraordinaire, David Gilmore. How are you today? Well, I am doing very, very well. Thank you very much. Hey, how's your day going? Well, tip top. Uh, top of most of the pop of most it's a, it's a wonderful day here at the uh, at the Gilmore household. Uh, nothing is going to bring this day down in any way whatsoever. <laughs> okay, well that's good to know. And now I click merge and I sit back. Hello. 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 Hello who is this? Wisp. Wh Hello. Oh. Wisp, why do, why do you have a oh, British accent voice. all of a sudden? Oh, Who? I know that voice. Oh, I know that voice. Oh, oh. I know that. It's Wisp! A bit, it's, is that a bit of a prick over there? Oh, I think it's a bit of a prick right here. Looks like we got a little bit of a prick oh, on both ends my here. God, Am I, I talking to he Gilmore? Did, oh, this is, yes, you're talking to Gilmore. Am I talking to Roger Waters, the only person that ever wrote a song in Pink Floyd? Well, you, you know, that's a fat old gilly. All right, you know that. Mm -hmm. so, well, when, you know, what, you, what did you come? You come here to groveling for me to come back with no, you I again? I didn't come to grovel anything. He called me. We were going to chat, have a little chat. I was going to talk oh, about my studio on water. I, I would never go on water. The, I, the amount of drama mean I need to take to, to be recording, Spointed. learning to fly on there. Who wants to learn to fly? I think everybody. We all, I think everybody we all know that everyone was fly. lying to themselves. That it was like they had a momentary lapse of reason in thinking that was a good Pink Floyd. Oh God! See, I would, I would make puns, fun puns, with your solo records if I could. Only remember the names of them. How well did they sell? Did they sell really well? I cannot. I think they sold as well as a Tony Banks classical record. <laughs> no, no, I got let's, you, let's old not chum. Say I that. got that you. That is just mean in and vicious face, to compare chum. me to a Tony Banks classical record. That is uncalled for here, all right? That is you unparalleled. You just got a face full of chum from David Gilmore. What you going to do? I guess, I guess the thing I find interesting is that uh, you appreciate money over art. It's a bit interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Everybody loves money. And everybody loves art. You can have both. We all agree that money is the worst song that I wrote on Dark Side of the Moon, mostly because we all realize that the concept of money is all made-believe and sales are made-believe as well. So some would say a momentary lapse of reason is a worst record because of the art of the art of hitchhiking. Then nobody would say that. Some Nobody, that people was so would convoluted, say, even Tony, so Tony convoluted and boring. Such a bore. Tell me, Roger, how has your singing been on Comfortably Numb lately? Have you been all... It's, like you were the last time I did it with you? It's, it's, it, is a, it is a little bit strangled, that is, that is true. But, uh, you know, I'm getting Everybody a bit older was there. Everybody was so happy when the David Gilmore part came up, and you even smiled, looking up at me, and you're like, finally, somebody is singing this the correct way. I, I always felt that you were singing everything wrong at all times, oh, including sure you your bluesy long note solos. I'm sure you did. And um, the last thing I'm going to say to you, Roger, is click. Oh, wow. He clicked you. I can't believe that mother. He, he one up me again. That. Oh, Gilly, one up me you again. Got one, you got one up. You got one up. This was a lot of fun, Roger. Click. So glad that happened. I, that really, I was going to do that. Wow. God, that really worked out for the best, didn't it? It worked. That's what I really, that's what I say. It's good when things work out for the best. I always say that. Everybody, that's, I mean, that should be on a shirt. Ah, Wiz Turlington Show, 108.9 The Hawk. I don't know how, about, how I feel about playing this right now, because it's kind of what uh, I'm feeling. But my emotions as a, as a man, they, they don't want me to admit it. But Damn Scotty Greg Jason, you're still down there at the the mall, right? I'm here, Wisp. Okay, good, just check it. So I don't have to scream your name. No, you don't have to scream my name. Good. Good I didn't get to scream him. Sky! <laughs>
Happy Hogger Days. Hi, this is Bob Vila, hoping you build yourself a merry little Christmas and enjoy an improved New Year. Hello, this is Arnold Schwarzenegger. Season greetings and best wishes for a joyous holiday. Hi, this is David Bowie, wishing you a merry Christmas and a very happy New Year. From 108.9, The Hawk. Are you ready for the latest in vacation luxury? Would you like to have all of your desires fulfilled? And can you promise to keep it together for the week or two you are on vacation? Then come visit the latest White Lotus Resort located in Valverde. White Lotus is known for its deluxe accommodations and a level of pampering to our guests that is unparalleled. And also, we are starting to get known for a lot of dead bodies. And uh, no thank you. (laughs) Check please. We here at White Lotus would like to keep bringing you the best vacation experience possible. So can you do us a solid? If you come to the White Lotus in Valverde, we will promise to make all of your vacation wishes and dreams come true, as long as you promise to keep your personal shit to yourself while you are here. Look, we get it. We all have issues with our families, our friends, our loved ones, hell, the entire world. And you are supposed to be coming here to escape your problems. So escape them and stop throwing them in the rest of the resort's faces and stop throwing knives into your fellow guests. Enjoy our complimentary five-star breakfast buffet and don't scream at your husband and or wife for maybe cheating on you in the middle of our giant chess set. Swim up to our pool bar and pick up our famous white lotus daiquiri. And don't swim out into the middle of the ocean and contemplate the meaninglessness of your life and then take it out on your son in a drunken mess when you return to land. Hell, just don't do anything but drink, swim, nap, read quietly, do one of our macrame craft classes, or just go scream it out in our padded anger rooms like they have for character animals at Disney before they freak out on the guests, located on every floor. Whatever it takes to just make you shut up, push your psychological issues deep down, and enjoy your time with us. And we will promise to hire only emotionally vacant employees, so we won't have you get into a whole psychosexual kerfuffle with them while you are here. White Lotus, keep your fucking shit to yourself. Just because it's always cold in Valverde doesn't mean you shouldn't have a top-of-the-line heat pump. Hi! Slump braggart for braggart's heat pumps. Shiver no more, Valverde. And I want to make you drip with sweat. Okay, that was a little weird. Probably not the wording I'm looking for for my heat pump commercial on the radio. Uh, Can we start again? No. (laughs) Okay, but you'll edit this and make it sound good, right? That's what the radio salesperson told me. She said, any fuck-ups will be fixed. She said that because I knew I would be so fucking nervous doing this commercial. Keep going. How? I'm frozen in fear right now. Ad lib? Hmm. Sounds like I could use a good braggart heat pump. Yep. Heat me right up. Make me feel good. So good. I I can't ad lib. I never took improv. Please, uh, you figure out a way to edit this and make it sound good, because Tanya in sales said that you could make me sound like a man who knows what he's doing. Because frankly, I don't. I saw a video on YouTube about heat pumps, and I thought, maybe I could do that. So all of my installs around Valverde have been me watching some guy named Dusty do installs in Valverde East. I don't even know if I did them right or if they are safe. <laughs> but before, before this, I sold Legos, and two people died from those. So you can understand that my record is not so good. Just edit this, okay? Here's a here's an ending we could use. I've been installing these heat pumps for over 20 years, so you know they're good. Braggart heat pumps. Ooh, I'm going to heat that ass up. Maybe not the ending, but you can figure it out. Tanya said you would. Don't fear it. Hear it. On 108.9 The Hawk. I, and that is something I'm always saying, is keep your hands to yourself. When I'm at Charney's, just eating up, and I'm just like, and I'm just getting it all in there. I'm just fucking eating everything. 18 buffets down in Charney's. That is correct. No one eats at three for Charney's. Who fired that off? Scotty? Scotty! Can I come in, Wisp? 
Yeah! Yeah! I, are you saying yes or are you screaming? Yeah! Is it Jeff? It's, yes, it's Jeff. The anger bag of luck. Yeah! I'm going to take the jarf as that you're saying my full name and you're, you're clearly overwhelmed by the oh Floyd and the... Oh, my God. Fire a bed, Scotty. Mm. Can I can I come in and take yeah, my seat, Wisp? No, go, go. Oh, oh! Now you come, now you come crawling back. Look, Wisp. One o, oh, it's one o oh three. It's not hits one o oh three. Listen, my friend, and I want to call you friend. Whoa! Again. I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna say think that everything's okay. I don't want to say that everything's okay, but I do want to say I'm sorry. Jeff, the angry man Garlock wants to get down on his knees. Figuratively, not literally. My knees are killing me. Yeah, don't even. And I would, like to, I, mean, I would like to sit in my seat and be able to talk into the microphone. I'm not going to yeah, get on yeah, my just, knees. But yeah, I would like to say, I am sorry for leaving you. I, 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 I'm not going to lie. I went over there and yeah. went over to Hits 103. We were having a good time for a while. and oh, uh, good, But then good. I, I, I checked that. in. Salt I checked in, in on you. Did you check in on me? Were you part of uh, them talking Robbie Akatakali's Dalton into prank calling me and making me feel like a I tried to talk asshole? them out of it. That is I, when I said that was too mean. I said Wisp has done so much for us, for radio, I, for terrestrial radio, the only medium that matters. I felt like a total asshole. I did. And now I got to ask you this. Is, is Terry Fashion's a real person or is it the, just the name I came up with for somebody else? I am not going to lie. I don't know and that's one of you the reasons know. I'm oh, back over here. I I did, everything they were talking about, it made no goddamn sense. <sighs> and, and, and and I got to say also, they said, uh, Jeff, you're too angry for us. I was like, excuse me? No. Here's the, th here's the thing. I'm I've Jeff the Angry Man Garlock and I can't be too yeah. angry for you. And they said, We don't have room for anger here. And I said, What kind of what kind of terrestrial radio is that? And they didn't even know what terrestrial radio was. I I literally say this all the time. And you could put it on a shirt. I say it's, it so much. We'd have those on shirts coming soon, by the that way. You're not that Jeff the Angry Man Garlock isn't angry enough. Wow. I say just let the boy run wild. So I, I appreciate that. That's what I realized is that, I, you know, I I was feeling, I'll be honest with you. Can we have an honest rap sesh yeah. for a sec? Yeah, I mean, that's what we're doing. I mean, there's, I had no show. I had no notes. I had no jokes. Wow. I had no news. I did traffic. No, you should not be doing traffic. I opened the mic and I said. Like legitimately, you need to be a professional to be doing traffic. You didn't go to traffic school. I know I that. I didn't go to the Institute. The Institute is important. Man, I said that and I, I probably freaked everybody in Valverde out. I guess I said there were aliens landing. There are no aliens. I and swear. killing. I, here's the boot. Here's where, here's where it goes crazy. Uh-huh. That they're killing women and children first. Yeah, you shouldn't be saying that, Wisp. Because the space program, okay. the only thing they could shoot into space was a single copy, on cassette, mind you, uh -huh. of Van Halen's Women and Children First. And oh, the aliens nice. got their little grubby hands on it, and they're like, bruh, 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 bruh. I mean, that is something that Space Force did. The, they did ship out oh, a, they a did. cassette See, tape I version I of Women and Children First. I read it, Scotty. I knew. I got it. But so it was a say, lot Scotty. like that golden record that Carl yeah, Sagan sent out. I was on out. the they golden knew record. That, I know yeah, that you were. Yeah. You were. I was. I was saying hello. That's dicks. that's gonna that's gonna bring us together better than and close encounters. That'd be great though if we had Peter Frampton doing his talk box and he was doing oh god the song from Close Encounters of the Third Kind. If, if then maybe was... those goddamn aliens would have killed us women and children first. But luckily that didn't happen. And the aliens are like, and that the aliens are like, this is how we talk. They land and they're like, wop, 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 wop. And then nobody says wop, wop because Peter Frampton's nowhere. He's not in Valverde right now. And he's the only one that could talk back at them. And they're like, fine, we're going to kill women and children first. 
And you see, Wisp, this is why I want to have an honest rap sesh, because this is what I was missing, and I'm sure you were missing it, too. Do you feel hey, how easily hey, wait, wait, this wait, conversation wait, 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 Honest rap sh- uh, sessions are brought to you by Sharnies. Sorry, had to, had to. I forgot that recently they've added the 19th buffet, Honest yep. Rap Sessions. Oh, honest Rap Sessions. They are the best. Like, a lot you of can Swedish make your meatballs own. on that one, though. It's you weird. can make, there is, and you can make your own wraps. Yeah, you make they your own They will wraps. make the wraps for you, and honestly, delicious. I tell, a they, Swedish meatball wrap with one of those oh. egg wraps where they just weirdly flatten out scrambled oh eggs and just wrap it around. God. And it's you, keto or something. I don't understand, but it tastes goddamn delicious. I would let you chew it up and then baby bird it back in my mouth. And I would That's how that hungry I am right now because Scotty gets me breakfast every morning. I didn't have breakfast. You have been eating. I know. I've been hearing this. You sounded hungry. So, okay, be honest. Rap session. Oh, honest wait, wait, rap wait, session. No, I this said is it. What I, I said it. Sorry. Let me just take a bite of this Swedish meatball egg wrap. <laughs> okay. And so I just oh got to say. God, where did you get that? I've had it in my pocket for two weeks. Well, you know what I'm going to need you to do? Pass it on over. I'm baby burning it right into your... That was delicious. Enjoy those nutrients. Sharnies, you did it again. Yeah, God damn it. But let me just say in this honest rap session, I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, I would not say that again. All right, let's just call it an HRS. So, okay, I think we're in the clear. We're in the clear. I've been resenting you. I've been feeling like you've been holding back. What? Jeff the Anger Man Garlock. I've been feeling like you've been pushing me down. I've been feeling like you've been telling station manager Ron to not pay me. And that partly that was something to do with all the money that you've been giving away. And I, 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 I can't lie to you anymore. I've been uh. feeling resentful towards you. But what? being away from you. Uh. And not having them understand a goddamn word I was saying. I did that whole Peter Frampton alien bit with them as well. And they didn't know what the hell I was talking about they over there. They're not going to get it because they're, 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 they only they're, know they're the new stuff. And children. Uh, I should have said Olivia Rodrigo was oh, doing oh, some sort of that talk is. box. I don't whoever know who that freaking is. That is. I think it's but a I, human being. But let me be honest yeah. with you. I checked back in and I heard you playing Wish You Were Here crying. You know what I realized? I wasn't, I wasn't crying. Holding back tears. I wasn't holding back tears. Whatever you were doing, emotionally, not emotionally, maybe just nothing was happening, but we all know really what was going on here, Wisp. I realized something. You and me? Yep. Wisp Turlington and Jeff the Angerman Garlock? And Scotty. And Scotty. He's shaking his head. He's not there. And me. Oh, Archman. <laughs> oh, it's hard. Hard to make up. Well, technically, I never left because I do traffic from this booth no matter where you need me. I oh, they just this... piped you in over oh, here they, now. Oh, they piped you in. That's oh, you what got piped in. Well, I, I got piped in, but... Uh, I hope you didn't hear whiffs doing that uh, traffic before. Cause I did. Bad. Oh, and no. frankly, it was accurate. Here we go. 108.9 The Hawk Traffic with Art Spart. Wow. We got quite a humdinger going on 422 right now. Yes, an alien ship has just landed. Man, it does seem like they're killing women and children first. Now, I don't know if that's because the United States Space Program fired off a cassette of Women and Children First by Van Halen, or it's just in their alien nature. I do not know. Art Smart is not an alien. I know a lot of times you think I may be an alien, but there's only two things that Art Spart is. Number one, traffic director. Number two, monster hunter. Have I killed aliens? Plenty of times. Will I kill these aliens? 100%. I'm loading up and I'm heading out right now, but I am on the mobile traffic computer. So if you need me, I'm here. And that's traffic on 108.9 The Hawk. Well, I, I'm really happy wow. that we've got this guy on I our guess side. I'm not happy that all that is true, that there's aliens I, killing no, women I and children first. But I mean, what are you going to do? I wow. made it up. You were prophetic there. I think I'm, I'm, I'm. You could call me the classic rock Nostradamus. I could call you that, but this you is know, what I, say I gotta that all the say. Time. In my I honest, say that all the time. My honest, you, you could say it all the time. We should put down a shirt. Put it, Scotty. Put that on the shirt. Nostradamus. Oh, Scotty yeah, shook his head. No, he's back. <laughs> he's not gonna do it. You, oh I'm so God. happy to see you. You naysaying motherfucker. I guess I'm. You know what? I'm realizing I'm gonna have to maybe rephrase my honest rap session. Oh God damn it! Well, I did it. For free at Gonna have to rephrase my HRS. You know, I was gonna say before that I heard you. Wait, 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 what? What is that? What is HRS? Honest rap session. Ah, you got me. And you got me, Sharnies. 
look, I'm going to have to rephrase. At one point, I was going to say, I heard you. I heard you listen to Pink Floyd. And yeah, I, yeah, yeah. But what I have realized now, and I guess, hold on, I got to do some little counting here. One, two, three, four, five. Let's just call it a baker's dozen. Just assuming everyone's coming back. You know what? Wisp, you and me and everyone else, we're just a baker's dozen lost souls swimming in a fishbowl year after year. Wish you were here with me is how I felt over there. But now I'm here. <laughs> so you're saying this isn't crying? This is laughter. Wait, you're laughing at me? This is pure joy. Oh, okay, good. I, I thought I poured my heart out here in an honest <laughs> rap session. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> well, that is a lot of flip. I can't stop laughing. <laughs> oh, God, it's so it's, bad. <laughs> it's everywhere the tug is going. That is something. I, a sight to be seen, people. You wouldn't see it uh, here, but uh, it is incredible. I am so sorry. Wow. For an everything apology. I have done. Ever. Wow. Ever. I've never felt so alone today. Wow. Or any day. Oh, can I ask you a question? Oh, of course. Why wouldn't you ask me a question right now? What day is it? Oh, it's Friday. Ah, f I said it was open phone Wednesday. Yeah. Because I didn't know. Scotty writes it down on top of my thing. Why were people calling in if it wasn't open phone Wednesday? God, we're still giving away that cruise. Uh, line 108, you're the winner. Who do we got? Hello. Wait a second. It's Fashions. Oh, my God. It's Terry Fashions. Terry Fashions, and this Terry. is the real one. I've been let, listening. Let me ask you, Terry. Yes? Are you a real person? Of course I am. But that other person's a person? You're separate from the other person. Oh, that might be an alternate reality version. What? This is the version that goes blah, 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 blueberries. Blueberries. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. I fucking love it. You know what you I love? Cruises. What well, uh, you are in luck, my friend. You are going on the Livingston Cruise Line, Cruise to the Edge of the World. Yeah. Uh, David and Shelly Dave are going to be there. I, are you a flat earther? Flat Earth is the way you go. Oh, my God. They One should just moon 10,000 times. Oh, that's what, what they say. Saying? That's what the flat earthers say. So, you and you're going to have a great time on this cruise. Uh, Kevin Sorbo. Oh, the Ian best. Kane. Gina Carano. All of my favorite actors. It's going to be great. You're going to have a wonderful time. Terry, here's the problem, Terry. Hope you're, you're going to have to cancel your tour because we don't know how long this is going to happen. They are going to cruise until they find the edge of the world. Is and that hopefully we into? fall off. That's what I'm hoping <laughs> oh, I for. I hope you do. I, I hope you don't because I need a sequel to Blue, 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 Blueberries. Oh, I would love to do that sequel. I'm doing one that. actually with Peter Gabriel and Tony Levin. Wait, wait, so that's real? That is that a one, real thing. That part is real. Just like Flat Earth is real. Oh, just like Flat Earth is real. That's the name of the song with me, Peter Gabriel, There's Tony no Levin. way Gabriel's doing just that. Just like no parentheses, way. Flat Earth is Earth. real. There's, he loves the earth, but you have fun on this cruise, Terry. Click. Oh, my God. We've had a wonderful time here on wow. the Miss Turlington show. You're going to have to set up a WOMAD after that uh, song comes out. <laughs> You're going to have to set up eight WOMADs. Hello. Oh, hello indeed. Okay. Well, I started this song as a uh, a very sad place. It was very sad. I heard all that before. Uh, but I got to finish it. I got to I gotta keep going. You got to keep going if you're doing this. Does exist. Why did he desert me? But he didn't desert me. Jeff came back. He's back. in the studio. He's got my back. Got I'm not back. alone. Naturally. Naturally. Scotty's over there. Shaking his and head, he's no. hanging out. Shaking his head, no. He, he's got some notes for me. Telling me how to do my job on a classic rock radio station. Where you're gonna hear a lot of Doobie Brothers. Probably too much. Naturally. Oh, uh, oh, this is a breakdown. I uh, fuck. Sorry. Well, I'll keep going. And they're gonna have a good time. We'll sometimes play Metallica. A lot of stuff from Reload. But now that I think I'm in charge of the station because Ron's got his hands full with Hits 103, oh, so wow. I think I can make all of the decisions here now. Cause honestly, I fucking paid for all of it. That is true. Yep, I did. 
Well, it's been a great time. It's been a lot of good fun. We had some laughs and barfs. We had some cries and cries and cries and a lot of good laughs. <laughs> you know oh, what God. I mean. Oh, God. Um, it's we, good to hear you laugh, Wisp. It's good you know, I laugh. don't do it. You don't. I've never heard you laugh before. When I, I say it's good to hear you laugh, I mean like in theory. It actually is terrible to hear you laugh. Because sometimes my laugh is just, I'm like, <laughs> that's not a real laugh. That's fake. No, no, no. That's a, that's that a radio a laugh right there. Laugh. Well, it I, sounds, I, You have never laughed at one joke anyone has ever said. Never. I don't think anything's there. funny. No. I don't think anything's funny. But I can tell you one thing that I'm feeling right now. In this moment, Jeff, do you know what it is? Do you know what Wisp Turlington's feeling? I don't, but I'd love to find out. I finally feel free. Get ready, motherfuckers. The hawk's mine. We're going to do whatever the fuck I want to do. And we're breaking the new back, Eric. Wisp. We're I breaking the back. new Eric Clapton rule for one time and one time only. I mean, I you're you not back. a complete monster. That's a one-time yeah. break. Well, he's I mean, still a you, fucking you've got, asshole. You've got the other dudes there. You got, you know, uh, they're covering I, butts. If yeah, Van Morrison shows butts. up, with we got to turn this thing off. Go. We know that ain't happening. Ah!